Welcome to DABCC Radio, where smart people listen. Virtualization and Cloud Talk, featuring cutting edge solutions from the hottest companies around the globe. Broadcasting from the DABCC offices in sunny Sarasota, Florida. Surrounded by computers, books, and Legos. A Microsoft MVP, Citrix Charter CTP, VMware V Expert. And your host, Douglas Brown. Welcome to another episode of DABCC Radio. I'm really excited about today's episode. We have, oh, you know, we have the company I work with, a company called iGel Technologies on the line with us. And we have Jed Ayers, the, well, he's the CMO. He's the American CEO and president. He is the responsible for the Americas. This guy is all that and a bag of chips. And we have him with us today to really describe iGel. What, who is iGel? What are we trying to do? Why is this so impressive? Why are people's heads being turned as we tell them the iGel story? And they are. It's truly. I've been I've been with the company just a few months now and just traveled. Gosh, I've traveled around the world, to be honest with you. And uh, I'm in the process of traveling around the world. I'm halfway around. I will finish it in the next few weeks. But uh, uh, in everywhere I go. People are like, wow, that's that's very interesting. And Judd's going to talk about that. He's going to tell us about this story and uh, why you should care about this. Uh, this is a tremendous. Well, you know what? I'm going to get. I'm, I'm at this point. I'm evangelizing, but that's my job, right? <laughs> but I'm going to let Jed do it. I'm going to let Jed tell the story, or we're together. We'll do it. So, with no further ado, I'm really excited to have Jed Ayers with us to talk about iGel technology. So, here we go. Jed, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. I'm, as I mentioned, you know, I'm quite excited about this podcast. I've been looking forward to having you on and starting this. I hope that we're going to, this is the first of many podcasts I do with iGel over the, the coming months and years and decades and what have you, right? Uh, um, so as always with my first question, I ask each and every person that's ever comes on DABCC Radio is, who are you and what do you do at your respective company? So Jed, who are you and what do you do over at iGel? Well, uh, currently I have a couple big uh, responsibilities here at iGel. Uh, first and foremost, my responsibility is uh, the CEO of the North American operation. So we've opened an office in San Francisco, and we're rapidly scaling and building a team of A players. And so uh, that's kind of my first responsibility is really growing and um, managing the iGel presence in the U.S. Uh, market. Second to that, I also am acting as our global CMO, so as part of the executive team out of Germany, uh, reporting to the founder, Heiko Glogi. I'm responsible for really building a marketing center of excellence here in um, the United States, and it's a departure from how iGel has done marketing over the past 20 years. We're now doing all of our marketing in English first, and we're really building a, uh, a very aggressive strategy um, here in the United States to highlight all of the great things that I, iGel is doing. So um, those are the two main responsibilities I have today. It's keeping me very busy. That's great, Chad. That's great. So the, the million-dollar question, who is iGel? And why are we turning heads? You know, what is iGel about? What are we trying to accomplish? And again, why are people's heads turning when we tell them this story? Sure. So, um, you know, I, I was probably in the camp of just sort of an uneducated person. You know, I, I'd worked for large Citrix resellers. I'd worked for AppSense um, and really got exposed to iGel probably when I was at AppSense the most, right, because we were working with them in the European market where they're the number one thin client player in Germany and have significant market share in Europe. And so I was exposed to them there, but I, I guess I really didn't understand the value proposition until uh, AppSense sold the land desk and I got the call uh, from the team here to kind of look at coming and joining them. And I started to look at it and, you know, what what looks from the outside as a sort of commodity, thin client hardware story couldn't be farther from the truth, right? And so when I started to unpack what they actually had, it, it became very clear that there were sort of three pieces of very powerful software that were kind of shrouded by this, you know, thin client uh, position that they hold in the market. 
So the first piece of software is the operating system, the iGel Linux operating system that's in its sixth generation and very secure, very light operating system. And secondly, it's the ability to extend that to just about any x86 device, right? So to be able to convert, uh, you know, an Intel compute stick, a, a tablet, a, a laptop, a desktop, a competitor's uh, device, a Dell or an HP thin client, right? So the ability at, at the BIOS level to wipe that and, and write our operating system on that in a very quick and easy process to do that. And then more importantly, the third piece of it is really the management console, right? So the ability to manage any of the iGel operating systems as well as uh, fat clients with our agent in a single pane of glass in a very powerful policy-based um, kind of drag and drop um, program that is super scalable, right? An enterprise grade solution, right? So that's sort of the real story. And in order to get that, we had to invert the message, right? So that we become really an endpoint management uh, story. And um, yeah, the hard, hardware is actually sort of secondary to that, right? That's sort of the means to, to the end, if you will. So that's, uh, that's why I joined. That's actually, you know, I started to understand that, wow, there's this amazing story that ha uh, hasn't been told uh, correctly. And there was this big opportunity in the US and a big opportunity to kind of um, reinvent the company by telling the story um, that's a software-led endpoint management story. So for me, it was a kind of perfect mix of, uh, a, a, of my skill set and my background because the other piece that was exciting to me was that the company is 100% channel. It's a two-tier model, so we go through distribution and through value-added resellers. And that was the other big opportunity is that the resellers that know how to sell this technology are the same ones that I worked with at AppSense. And, um, and so it was a natural fit in terms of being able to go to these uh, resellers, um, not only here in the U.S., but you know, around the globe that have strong bench benches of virtualization talent and, uh, and share with them this story and, you know, Within the first three months, we signed up 17 uh, of the best Citrix and VMware resellers wow. here in the U.S. to lead with iGel. Um, and, and so that was an affirmation for me that um, you know, I, I made a great choice coming here um, because you know, these companies wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have done that if it wasn't great technology, game-changing technology, really. Well, Judd, you are so right. Integrators are in the business of making money, and the smart ones understand that, right? And to do this, what they do is they put together, or what they should do is they put together a portfolio of the top shelf products to make a complete solution for their customers, right? This is why it's so exciting for us to, to see the truly great integrators, the Intisys, the Right Systems, the Hogan's, you know, the, the players, et cetera, et cetera, adding iGel to their portfolios and investing time and resource into what we're doing, right? It just proves the iGel solution in so many ways. And one other thing, uh, of course, you are so right about the management. To me, it has always been about the management. And anyone that has listened to my podcast for any time knows I love managed endpoints than clients, right? They, you know, I go off about them. I tell my little story about how I love, you know, thin clients, managed endpoints. It's, it's, you know, this. I get in my little soapbox. But to me, the key word there is managed. To put down a cheap commodity box is not solving any problems, but actually, in many ways, creating them. The secret sauce is management. And everyone who has dove into the iGel solution knows that it is by far the best. It just just is. I, I would totally agree with you. When I first got here, the first thing I did was I had to figure out, all right, why iGel, right? Because if you go to the, uh, the previous website, our old website, it was very feature function, kind of heavy on, on the specs of the, of the hardware. And so my first you know, uh, order of business when I got here was to go interview about 50 different customers around the world and partners and try to uh, dissect why did they buy iGel? You know, what, what was the why iGel? You know, the yeah. Simon's golden circle. You know, why iGel? And so after doing these interviews, we really landed on, like, what – iGel does from an endpoint management perspective and is simplify uh, the, the ability to manage all these endpoints at scale, right? We take the cost and the complexity out of, out of managing this sprawl of endpoints by putting a you know, super secure operating system, the iGel operating system, you know, this, uh, is a, a container that 
you know, creates a, a very manageable and secure environment through this single pane of glass. So much so that, I mean, people we talk to, they would almost get evangelical about what that had meant to them in terms of their ability to manage these environments. It was, it was actually like certain people almost got teary eyed about what it had meant to their environment and how they, how it had changed their life. And so that's actually where we came up with our new tagline revolutionary in its simplicity. Um, because it just we simplify the life of that IT pro who's got to sit behind tens of thousands of devices and try to figure out how to how to keep them secure and patched and managed and uh, and keep all the right applications on them and so you know that's where iGel comes in. Jed and I just can't agree more with you. That's, that's per- absolutely perfect. And the more I personally dive into the management console into the management system, the more I'm amazed by it. And one how simple it is to use, but two, uh, 7,000 plus configuration points. Uh, It's just a phenomenally comprehensive solution for managing endpoints. I'm I'm very, very impressed. And you mentioned something I definitely want to point out that I just find to be uh, completely amazing, and that is the ability to wipe a competitor's device or basically really any x86 device and then install the iGel OS to create a fully managed endpoint device. Yeah. So this is actually probably one of the most exciting uh, ways that we sort of introduce people to the iGel experience is we um, you know, can quickly, uh, on the new website, you can actually go download three free licenses and the management console in about you know, 60 seconds and, and do this yourself. But what we, what we really uh, hope people will do is they'll download this converter software, and all you need is any x86 device probably that's been built in about the last 10 years, right? Anything that has 2 gigs of storage and 2 gigs of RAM, you can put this uh, converter software on there, the universal device converter, and voila, you have an iGel operating system that you can enroll in this management console, right? And so that's really the experience and exposure that we need more people to have, right? When Customers line that up against what they get from Dell Weiss Manager or um, you know the solutions from HP. That's when the light bulb goes on, right? They see the profound difference um, in the fact that it's also included with any purchase of our hardware or or with the device converter. You're getting this world class management console, right? And in in the case of Dell, you're going to pay for that solution, right? Um, yeah. And so. The, this is a this is the value proposition is profound, but it takes somebody to kind of you know do the hard work to download this and to convert a device and to really see it. And some of our partners have latched onto this, and they're actually hosting conversion workshops, and they're doing it both virtually and in person. And I will tell you, this is the most powerful thing, right? When you put even just you know eight people around a boardroom table, they all walk in with the device of their choosing, and we convert it, and uh, they have a sandwich, and you know they they basically see the the iGel light, they get the iGel religion, and we've literally had people walk out of those uh, in the middle of the conversion workshop and cancel orders and uh, redirect them to iGel when they see what, what that really means uh, in terms of the management. And, and that's really, you know, it's hard, it's sometimes hard, hard to see that when you're looking and you're fixated on a front-end hardware cost, but really our value is the is this is a softer cost, right? It's the, it's the ability to manage 30,000 devices with two people. Right, yeah. which you just can't do with anyone else's technology today, and so that it's, it takes a little bit more unpacking and uh, you know work to expose people to this. But when they see it and they experience it, and, and that's really what the new website's all about, right? Is for people to be able to go self-service their way into into seeing this technology. Yeah, yeah. No, I I could not agree more, Jed. I could not agree more. Uh, it is it's amazing to see, and, and i like I said, I've known about the thing for a long time. You know, iGel's not new to me. But as a, you know, as I'm playing with it and diving into it, I'm finding things that I'm just like, "Wow, it can do this! It can do this! It's, it's just amazing." Uh, so well, that I, be- think one of the, the te- the, I would just t- stop you for one second on that. The, 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 I had the exact same reaction, right? And part of what I think has happened over the last 20 years is literally in Augsburg, just outside of Munich, where our 75 software developers sit. We literally have the same four guys who were there when this company started, still in the trenches every day, coming to work listening to our customers and our partners and our sales and you know technical teams in the field and they are basically they listen and then they react right and so what you have is 20 years of of um, kind of experience packed into this program right and so yes our management console is 
ridiculously high function, right? Because it, all of these features, uh, uh, the collective wisdom of all of those people uh, is in that, uh, in that management console, which is in its fifth generation. Yeah. Uh, but, 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 you know, Jed, usually after 20 years and usually after so many additions, things become sort of kludgy and convoluted and, and difficult and, and, you know, over-engineered, right? That's one of the big problems is, oh, so, well, let's throw this feature and let's throw this feature and let's throw this feature in, right? But it's not right. that way at all. It's still right. intuitive. It's still simple. It's still, you know, this drag and drop infrastructure, right? Or, you know, uh, admin tool. Well, it's I just... think that that's uh, the testament to the German, you know, sort of uh, very linear, you know, uh, prescriptive thought process, right, that they put into everything. Yeah. And you, know, you see that in terms of this sort of the backwards compatibility and the commitment they make on the hardware, right? Our hardware carries a five-year warranty. Everyone else has three years today. We actually support the uh, firmware updates um, for th- three years after the product even goes end of life. So you can imagine the complexity of that, right? So a product's end of life, and we're still making sure that that product's gonna gonna be uh, supported. I mean, it's really uh, an amazing thing to work for a German uh, company uh, from an engineering perspective, right? And so part of my goal is, from a sales and marketing perspective, to bring our you know our visibility and kind of match that engineering prowess that we've had for so long, uh, you know, to equal it with some, some, you know, good marketing and some connectivity with some of our alliance partners like Intel and AMD and Citrix and VMware uh, here in the States that they just haven't had before, right, from sort of a more of a business perspective. The engineering connectivity has always been solid, but that's part of why we're here in Silicon Valley and we've opened an office in San Francisco where I'm talking to you from today. So... Yeah, yeah, you got it. Nothing better than engineer or German engineering, right? I mean, come on, if you're gonna buy a if you're gonna buy a car, well, you own a Tesla, but I guess things change from time to time, right? There's an exception to every rule, but I own a yeah. German car. <laughs> well, I have to say, I still own a German car too, and I've always owned German cars. They're great, great uh, engineered vehicles, but Teslas, it's says, and it's a whole new you know proposition, and they're, it's they're a new pressing point. the whole industry in good in a good direction so when the world's been as hot as it has for the last two years i feel good about driving an electric car i can't can't disagree with that at all and you get the sh- the 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 uh the quick lanes in california too <laughs> yeah so uh the other thing that's exciting doug from a marketing perspective is that at all of our events that we're doing we're actually giving a tesla away i was just going to ask about that of, to a German CEO who drives a Porsche that we were going to give a, his, his German company was going to give away an American California built Tesla but that's an exciting thing that we're actually uh, just launched and so you can go to our website and you can see all the Tesla eligible events that uh, that, we, that we have where you can go sign up to win this car we'll have it on the uh, booth at Synergy Citrix Synergy we'll actually give the car away at VMworld in Las Vegas in August so we're very excited about that. It's not only just the Tesla, we're actually giving away the P100D, which is the fastest car in the world, and it just continues to get faster. This uh, past uh, several weeks, they just have been tuning the software, and we, this is part of why we love it, right? It's a software-defined story, kind of like iGel, and uh, you know, the car uh, has now dropped to 2.25 seconds to go to 0 to 60, right? That is um, insane. And uh, so, and we're giving this thing away, right? One hundred percent free. You, people don't have to do. They, do they have to pay the taxes on it? I mean, how's this? Do they get a brand new car? Yeah. So this is a hundred and forty five thousand dollar prize, um, and so they will have to pay for you know the uh, title, t- taxes, transfer, shipping, all those kind of things. Um, and uh, there's there's some fine print to this, right? But we are going to give the car away, or if they don't want the car, we will just give them a hundred thousand dollars in cash. Wow. Um, so those are the two two options. But um, if they want to buy a Tesla, we'll essentially let them build the Tesla of their dreams and put one hundred and forty five thousand dollars towards that with Tesla Motors. Wow. So we're excited about the promotion. Uh, obviously, we think it's a it's a stellar brand. It's a software defined story, sort of like iGel is, and so we're uh, we're kind of excited to uh, partner with both Samsung and AMD um, in bringing this promotion uh, out there. And, you know, our best-selling uh, product today, the UD3, on the hardware side is powered by AMD, and they uh, helped us uh, w- with this and uh, in sponsoring it. And then also uh, Samsung, who's licensing our technology to drive their all-in-one 
product, yep. they, uh, they're also part of it. So a lot of the events that we have will be showcasing those two products, the UD3 powered by uh, the AMD processor and then the Samsung, which is also powered by AMD. They're all in one, but That's... has the uh, iGel software on it. You know, the one thing to remember about iGel or think about if, as you think iGel in the future, it's not about thin clients. It's, it's about the management. It's about all these different devices. It's about all these different, you know, uh, devices we can manage. IoT in the future, right? Uh, telephone systems. It's, just, it's amazing. It's amazing what can be done. Yeah, I mean, we're already starting to see some of the IoT implications for, you know, this embedded Linux operating system that's extensible to just about any device out there and the ability to manage it. So we're seeing it, you know, on forklifts, on hardened devices, that uh, we're seeing it, you know, on kidney dialysis pumps. I mean, we're seeing some very uh, interesting uh, deployments of our operating system uh, in, in a world of IoT. You know, we're probably not going to play in the world of sensors, right? Sure. Uh, but we, you know, we we believe that there's um, some very interesting implications in manufacturing, healthcare, automotive, where we actually could play and and be very relevant, right? So, sure. IGEL kind of has a four four point strategy right now, right? We're going to continue to sell lots of hardware, uh, leading leading obviously with our our software message to, to, to sell more software. We're, we're really enhancing what we do from an endpoint management secondarily um, in terms of our roadmap for just kind of clean endpoint management, which will eventually you know, uh, include mobile devices and, and continue to enhance what we can do with fat clients. The third uh, leg of the strategy is to really work with uh, our partners like Samsung who want to license this world-class technology that make great hardware. So we're in you know, some good conversations with some of the other big manufacturers that don't have a thin client uh, strategy or an operating system. And so, uh, you know, we, we partner in the field regularly with uh, companies like LG and Lenovo and Cisco who uh, are, are quite interested in this technology. And so those relationships are going well. And then the fourth tenet of the strategy is really um, pressing into this world of, of IoT. And so, obviously, that raises us up and out of just the sort of uh, where we started this conversation, right, which is a lot of people just think about iGel as a commodity, thin client hardware vendor, and that couldn't be farther from the truth. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. Um, you had mentioned earlier uh, uh, that you guys are, you know, that iGel is making a lot of changes. Um, and you're hiring a lot of A players. And uh, can you talk a bit about um, some of the other changes you guys are making, or we are making, I guess? We hired this guy named Doug Brown. We, we hear he's an A player, so yes. we're excited about him. I'm excited. I'm excited <laughs> about him, too. Uh, yeah, uh, Doug is obviously uh, was a, a huge win for us just in terms of just getting the iGel um, story out there. We couldn't think of a better thought leader, somebody that has been in this industry and around all of this technology in the in the uh, under the hood, so to speak, and ha- has a lot of credibility. So obviously adding you to the team and having you uh, – fly around the world to help tell the story. This is a, you know, a dream from a marketing perspective for me, right? Who, uh, the biggest challenge we have is to, to educate people, right? So that they understand who iGel is and, you know, the software, uh, story. So, you know, uh, I love my weekly slide I go through with the senior team, which is where in the world is Doug Brown? And you've been on, on the, uh, payroll, I think, for just the, only a few weeks now. And I think your schedule pretty much through almost the end of this year is completely full. So, I'm sure you'll be out on the road talking to a lot of people, and we're excited by that. But beyond your hire, uh, you know, we're hiring all kinds of people in the U.S. to just further our ground game, right? Uh, this is still a fairly technical sale, so we continue to round out our uh, our engineering bench here in the U.S. Um, and our sales team here in the U.S. We've built an inside sales team, again, aimed at uh, elevating the iGel story and getting more people aware of what we're doing. So um, the, the, that team is actually fielding a lot of the calls that are coming in through the Tesla promotion and exposing people to, uh, to demonstrations. And, uh, and then in addition to that, we just hired a gentleman named Simon Cleffin, who is running our business development and uh, strategic alliances. He's you know, a long uh, veteran of this industry and is here in Silicon Valley. So, uh, and we continue to um, invest here in the U.S. We'll probably double the size of the team again here in 2017 as we add more sales uh, reps, and it's just a really exciting time, right? Um, we see a, a, a large appetite in this market from enterprises for our software, and so, uh, you know, the German executive team and our board, I just came from Germany, 
last week, you know, is, is bullish on this market and we're just going to continue to invest. Uh, I mean, we grew the business 40% on the hardware side and 80% on the software side uh, in uh, 2016. And you know, we, we see no uh, stops of that momentum here in 2017. So we're, just, we're, we're doubling down, I guess, is what I would tell you. That's great. And Simon, Simon is my new hero, Jed. The guy is just phenomenal. And for those who might have met Simon in the past, you know what I'm talking about. But just a total A player. And, and I absolutely love working with him. Uh, I've learned so much. I, I joke with him, I've re- I, with him. I've read every one of your emails twice. So, uh, <laughs> Well, we work in a uh, very startup, uh, kind of the new way of working uh, here in San Francisco. We're in a shared office space with about 40 other technology companies and Simon and I actually share a, a very small office together. So, uh, we, I get to spend a lot of time with Simon and he's, uh, he falls into the category. I like to say, I hire people that are smarter than you. Yeah. And, uh, and he's very well connected. So this is, uh, it's been a, he's been a great addition. Um, certainly someone I enjoy having around We're we're still looking for a VP of sales to uh, add to the team. That's the one position we're still hunting for in the U S. So hopefully we'll find the right person, the right fit uh, for that role. Cause obviously that's a super important role has a lot of uh, impact with our partners and customers and driving uh, yeah, the, the growth that we expect to get in this market. You got it. You got it. And, and you had mentioned the new website and I know that, you know, a new website doesn't seem that important on the service to some people maybe but there's so much into this thing and there's so much great value that is in this new new property right from you know how to find information to the demos to the you know can can you talk about this real quick and why someone should want to you know head on over there and visit it well i mean i think that uh in the world that we live in today it's all about self-educating right and our old website no uh, offense to it but it got a little bloated over the years it became kind of the encyclopedia of thin client and it was very hardware product specific. So, you know, it's, it, it, it was literally 8,500 pages. So we've, we've, you know, it's hard to do things simple, right? It's actually yeah. harder to do things simple. So we've really refined it and we've inverted the story, right? So it's very much a software led story around what we can do with endpoint management. And it's just a lot cleaner, easier to navigate and, uh, you know, easier to interact with us. There's a chat function. So if you want to you know, connect with us, you can, can chat with our insight team right on the site. You can download the software. You can schedule a 12 minute demo. Um, you know, you can really see the portfolio of, of solutions that we have. If you want to um, order the hardware and get some evaluation of our hardware, you can do that right on the site. So it's just a much cleaner. It's only a hundred pages. So, uh, you know, there's still hundreds of case studies. And obviously that's one area where we think that, uh, you know, from a vertical perspective, when people from retail or healthcare are trying to look at, you know, how, how to benchmark what they want to do and look at what others have done. We literally have almost a thousand case studies available to, to sort of look through. Um, you know, we've just, we've touched a lot of customers over the year. We have 17,000 customers. Uh, and, uh, you know, so th- there's a lot of great stories, I guess, is what I would share with you of how people have leveraged our technology across, you know, some key verticals. And so, yeah, the website, I mean, I'm very excited about it, right? Because it just tells iGel in the way that we want to be told. And, and it, it, it's, it's, you know, it's the story that, that uh, the unveiling of, so- of a software company, right? Which yeah. is really where we started, right? Yeah. In 2000, 2002, you know, Heiko, uh, you know, formed iGel in the current form. And, you know, the, the original company actually was licensing software, the iGel operating system to compact computers and to others. Uh, and so that's the original or, or, you know, orientation of the company. It was a software company. And yes, we did get into hard, building hardware along the way, but uh, you know, the company's core IP has always been software. So I think the new website does a really nice job of obviously orienting people to the fact that we, uh, we're an endpoint management company first. We do happen to make great hardware better than uh, the rest of the industry from a hardware perspective, but um, it's all about this operating system, the converter software, and the management console. And, and one of the new things that you can do is you can download the software, you know, and this is, you know, people listening, a lot of these guys are techies, they want to actually get their hands on it. So can you describe the download, you know, the, the what, what do you call it, the 30, 30 second download process or something like that? Yeah, so I mean, literally, all you have to do is just go to igel.com, right? And uh, and you're gonna see a couple ways to get to it. You can either hit the demo it button at the top, uh, or you can hit the download button, 
and uh, that's going to take you to a, a, a super quick uh, form where you just put in your name and your company and your email and uh, agree to our terms and conditions, and you're going to get three free uh, licenses for the device converter and then also the, the management console that comes with that, and you'll have a 90-day trial to try it out. And, of course, our team will be on standby to help you um, have a great experience with that. Still a fairly technical sale, and obviously it needs to incorporate into your software uh, and hardware stack, uh, you know, whatever you're using. And so we have a, a highly skilled SE team and even inside pre-sales team that can work with you and answer any questions you might have in terms of compatibility and you know how to set up the right architecture. Um, and that's really where all that value that's embedded in our, uh, you know, the 20 years of developing this operating system and the management console come into play, right? We work with more protocols and have more out-of-the-box functionality than anyone else, right? Whether it's single sign-on or um, just all the uh, technology alliances that, that are built into the management and the operating system. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it's very exciting that you, you can go do this. It used to take us a, under best conditions about 48 hours to get people licenses. Now you can do it in about 48 seconds. Yeah, it's really awesome. There, it actually will send you an email and with, with the license embedded into the email. It's just really smooth, really simple. There's no excuse for not trying it. It's just, and then you can deploy it in minutes too. So it's, it's really a, it's something you guys want to try out. Definitely. So that being said, uh, um, Jed, I want to jump into a couple uh, uh, new, newer technologies you guys have released and, because I think they're just really game changers and, and some of the reasons I joined iGel. Um, but I, I joined iGel for many reasons, actually. One of them is, like I said, I wanted to, to, to work with you, Jed, and, and I was so excited about all the changes and everything that you guys have put in place and the refocus on software and and uh, that I just had to be a part of this the, the, this journey, right? Yeah, well, I'm humbled, humbled by that. Oh, it's, I mean it. I mean it. But one of the the two other things that really intrigued me and really was the something you guys called the UD Pocket and then the Cloud Gateway. Uh, this UD Pocket is phenomenal. Can you talk? Can you tell us what is this UD Pocket? Why is it phenomenal? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, again, this is this is a, uh, a story that has roots back to uh, a, a sales call that our uh, that our CEO and founder Heiko Glogi went on with uh, one of our sales guys down in Australia, and um, they were they were meeting with a government uh, account down there, and uh, that they were sort of pressing like, hey, wouldn't it be great if you could sort of put the iGel operating system, you know, on a USB stick and uh, you know, I think their original reaction to that was, well, why would you want to do that? And, you know, they were sort of skeptical coming out of the meeting. And, uh, but then they started to think about it, and they thought of the uh, use cases and the implications for that. And uh, they went back to Germany. This is about two years ago, so this gives you some idea of how methodical these guys are in terms of working through uh, all the implications of, of a solution like this and, and the timing of when to do it and why to do it. And so... Um, Sure enough, we this year converted our uh, our operating system to a 64-bit, and we did some different things with how we license our technology um, that uh, all of a sudden made it really uh, easy for us to take this operating system and put it on an 8-gig hardened USB stick. And so um, that's exactly what we did, and uh, we launched this back in December. And, uh, you know, I think there was a fair number of skeptics uh, inside our own organization even that, you know, this was going to be a product that would have commercial viability. You know, it's kind of a neat thing, right? You can put this on there. and certainly has great demo uh, capabilities, right? And it, just like the fact you can download the three free licenses now on the website, I can now hand you a demo UD Pocket that has a 90-day uh, time frame, and, you know, you, you, can, you can boot that up immediately and, and get the iGel experience. But Long story short, this uh, product has taken off uh, like wildfire. I mean, even the biggest skeptics in our sales ranks have been proven wrong. We have the one guy who thought, you know, this wasn't going to go anywhere. He sold over 10,000 of these in the first two weeks that we announced it. Wow. Um, I think it surprised even himself, right? And, and guess what? What they're doing is they're plugging, you know, 9,000 of these, uh, in one case, into um, Dell, the existing Dell Thin clients because they, uh, they, they don't want to have to go figure out how to put the converter software on there. They can just go walk around and put this 
uh, UD Pocket, the, the thumb drive, which is literally the size of your thumbnail. It's it's not even a thumb drive, right? It's a teeny little thing. Yeah, very and, small. Uh, so they're going around to 9,000 Dell thin clients and putting that in there. Why are they doing that? They're doing it because they want the iGel operating system that can be managed by the management console, right? The super scalable thing that we just talked about. And they're on their way to doing this on, across 36,000 devices. So that's the, the, the UD Pocket. The implications for this are, are actually tremendous, right? Because it goes beyond just the, uh, uh, the use case that I shared with you of this this customer with 9,000 of them, that it also extends into contractors and people who work at home. Uh, you know, this is a really nice way to give them uh, a thin client secured environment in a, in what's almost a disposable uh, device. Yeah. And, and, and it takes, allows that, it allows really that the client to go anywhere, anytime, any, you know, place, right? And just plug this thing in and, and, and launch, right? And work, plug right. it in and work. You know, no, and no. so what makes this so spectacular, really, Doug, is the is the other piece of software yeah. that we've launched that is inside the management console, which really makes this work. And like I said, the Germans they're very uh, methodical in terms of how they how they've come to market with this, and you know they they, uh, they 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 they've really put together a kind of perfect storm on this technology because now what we have with uh, uh, the second big piece of innovation uh, is the cloud gateway, the iGel cloud gateway, which essentially allows you to manage any uh, iGel operating system or fat client that's connected to the internet, right? So we can basically see that device uh, it, when it boots up. It has to come get the policy and the contextual uh, permissions for for, the, for that device. That uh, could be off. It could be at a Starbucks. You could be at home. Could be wherever, right? And so before it can boot, it's going to get that policy configuration. And um, it's going to be completely visible and managed by that IT professional, just like all the devices that they've historically managed that have been on the corporate network. So, again, this is the game changer, right, because it just expands the uh, 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 available uh, you know, use cases and the population of devices that can be managed yep. in this very prescriptive, granular policy, drag-and-drop uh, approach, this yep. revolutionary, simple approach. It now opens up this whole new set of use cases of basically any device any, anywhere, right? And it eliminates all this complexity of VPNs and all the other kind of crazy gateways and stuff that people have had to architect to do this, right? Yep. Essentially, this ga cloud gateway can either live in a public cloud uh, or can be on-prem, you know, depending on how you, uh, you know, your, your partner is architecting it or the customer is architecting it. And... Uh, it just it the, between these two these two things it opens up a whole new storyline for for IGEL and it just sort of proves what we're talking about in terms of those seventy five engineers that are there in in the southern part of Germany in Augsburg that are you know waking up every day thinking about how to continually innovate in this endpoint management space right with some best in class technology already right so it's. It's an exciting place to be, honestly. It really is. It really is. It really is. And the Cloud Gateway, guys, this thing is so interesting. And if you're if you're old enough to remember Citrix Secure Gateway, it's I was at Citrix when they released uh, Gateway, and I had the betas, and I watched you know as part part of the release, and then I showed it to all my partners, and at first they didn't get it, and then they slowly got it, and then once they got it, it was the biggest game changer I think Citrix. Technolo the technology as Citrix they ever had, and I feel the exact same way about iGel, because what this allows them, you know, you to do as a customer, as a user, is to take something like a UD Pocket or a UD3 or, or any of the devices, right? The UD, UDC, the converter, uh, and and work from anywhere securely without any headaches, no VPNs. It's just an SSL relay service, right? It's an SSL gateway. It's super simple. It's not a complex device. It doesn't take a rocket science to deploy, a scientist to deploy it, manage it, use it. It just works, right? right. And well, it's beautiful, right? It's it, is, software. it is it's such a, it yes. a console. It is such a beautiful solution that allows that any, any, any access. In the same way that it changed Citrix, the CSG changed change Citrix and allowed that, that story. Now we have that at, with, with uh, you know, secure endpoints, right? Traditional thin clients and the software that IGEL is coming out with, UD Pocket, things like that. It's just, it, Jed, it is phenomenal. It is truly phenomenal.
I can't wait to to get the feedback from people. It's just out, so please, yeah, you know, well, check I this think, out. Uh, you know, again, this is how you, if you want to experience the cloud gateway, go download the uh, converter software and uh, the management console, and uh, yeah, you can start to play with this yourself. Right? It's uh, real easy for us to turn that on and um, allow you to uh, you know experience that and set that up in your own environment. Um, and then the other thing we're seeing, uh, Doug, and I know we have a lot of partners that tune into your podcast. We're seeing a lot of partners look at, um, you know, the, the, uh, this technology is something that really they can build in uh, to their managed services solutions that they're building today for desktop as a service, right? So a lot of these companies are, are building very robust solutions around Citrix and VMware to deliver those technologies uh, on a subscription basis, right? And now they're looking at, oh, well, why, why would we not include the endpoint in terms of the SLA that we're building and the package we're building to, uh, to deliver these applications and desktops? And so um, that's actually been a very exciting part of the, the, the conversations and the growth that I think will drive iGel going forward is that this is a multi-tenant solution that um, a managed service provider and you know, a lot of our are really, you know, platinum partners here in the U.S. are looking at how, how do we add the iGel technology into our, our as-a-service solution. So, um, the, and obviously the cloud gateway just opens that wide open. You got it. You got it. Well, Jed, we're, we're right about out of time. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and conclude this, this episode. But like I said, I mentioned, we're going to be doing tons of these things and really just diving through the company, uh, um, and into the different products and, and bringing on SMEs to talk about the different, you know, technically, you know, how all these solutions work, why they, you know, they did what they did, uh, what it means to you, you know, all that jazz. So, um, well, I'm that- sure those segments will be much more interesting than our conversation today. Cause you know, I know your audience is very technical, but we have a lot of really smart people here. I mean, it's, there's just some brilliant people, and I hope you can work your way through that population, both you know, the guys that are out in front of customers uh, every day solving problems to the team in Augsburg that's actually building this software. There's a lot of interesting voices and perspectives, and, uh, yeah, look forward for, to you kind of working it through, and, and I'm sure it'll get a lot more interesting here on out. You got it. You got it. Jed, thank you so much. Uh, one, for this opportunity to work with you and, and two, for, you know, all that you're doing at iGel and three, for, you know, coming on the show and sharing it with us. It's, it's going to be an exciting next six to 12 months. Uh, and then the future is very bright beyond that. But guys, definitely pay attention to what iGel is doing. This is not your father's Oldsmobile, right? This is not your father's thin client. This is truly, exactly. it's the changes are, it's not just marketing changes. Uh, and, and I hate the word changes because it sounds like we did something wrong in the past. We didn't. It's just, you know, there's, so, they've been so busy that now all this stuff is popping and, uh, wow is all I can say. So, well, thanks for having me on your show in this beautiful virtual, uh, uh, studio of yours. Yeah. And, uh, we, we love this technology. And so, uh, you know, to be halfway around the world to be able to do this with you today, I appreciate it and definitely encourage people to go check out our new website. And if you have any feedback at all for, for me personally, you know, I'm wide open on LinkedIn or send me an email, airs at iGel. Love to hear from you. And, uh, you know, that uh, we're, we're excited to work with all of you. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Doug. Thank you. Okay, so that concludes a successful episode of DABCC Radio. And I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot about what we're doing over at iGel. And I hope it intrigued you to learn more and like i said we're going to be doing more of these podcasts i have more queued up and uh we're going to be doing some with some customers and uh, you name it just just tons of different little things to share with you you know what we're accomplishing well one what we're building the results of our labor and what this means to you and why you should care right at the end of the day and and how we can solve your problems or put money in your pocket that's at the end of the day what you care about, right? I want to go home with more money in my pocket. And I joke can help you do that. So, plus it's just downright neat technology. It's just downright cool. I'm not here to, to make money. I'm here to play with cool tools, cool toys to solve people's problems. That's what I've always done. You know, that's, that's what an engineer does. That's what a techie does. That's what a techie loves. And iGel is all about that and then some. So definitely check out what we're doing. Head on over to www.igel.com. 
and have at it. Download the converter, convert one of your PCs. You can multi-boot the thing also. It's really simple, really powerful, really amazing. And you can also uh, join one of our webinars. Uh, we have an upcoming webinar on the Cloud Gateway. And if that intrigued you, uh, definitely head on over to, um, well, just head to DABCC.com. On the right column, you'll see a big, right at the very top of the right column, and say, don't miss. And click that link, and you'll be able to join my upcoming webinar on Cloud Gateway. And I think you guys will really like what we're doing with that solution. And if you're an old Citrix guy, you'll be like, ah, CSG, powerful. And uh, like I talked about earlier in the podcast. So with no further ado, again, I want to thank Jed uh, for, one, helping me or bringing me on to IGEL, two, doing this uh, today, and three, just being a downright great guy. So um, IGEL is really amazing. You know, I'll say the last thing I'll say about IGEL is I went out to their sales kickoff. And uh, I've been around uh, a long time and met a lot of people. And I was sort of, okay, what's this going to be like? You know, this will really tell me if I want to be here. If uh, Because, again, I'm not here for money. I'm here for to, to solve a problem. I'm here to have a good time solving problems. And I'm not talking, ha, 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 fun, fun, fun. You know, success is fun. Uh, solving people's problems is fun. You know, creating something really awesome is fun. And at that sales kickoff, I had such an amazing time meeting really smart, really passionate people. And it truly reminded me of my early days when I was at Citrix. And like we were onto something big, like there was a change in the air. And I left from there going, eh, I think I made a good decision. And in just two weeks ago, I was out in, I was down in Augsburg. Um, Germany, as Jed mentioned, visiting the developers and talk about smart guys. Wow, is all I could say. And we were finalizing, they were finalizing the UD pocket for the Mac. And we had one little issue and it was, I could prove it on my Mac. And so um, uh, Matthias, the CTO, sent me up to sit next to one of the developers. And the guy just, amazing. I mean, this was straight out of a movie, a hacker you know, developer type of guy, took my UD pocket, plugged it in, clicked on his, uh, um, you know, typed on his keyboard. The font was so small, I couldn't, it was just a line to me. He just stared at this thing from about two inches off the screen and <laughs> typed a bunch more, typed a bunch more, typed a bunch more, and in about six minutes, handed it back and goes, here you go. I have no clue what the guy did, but he solved my problem. It's really rocket scientist. So really neat, really neat stuff. As you can tell, I'm enjoying myself, and that's what it's about. Head on over to iGel.com and enjoy yourself, too. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the ABCC Radio. Can you say D-A-B-C-C? D-A-B-C. Say it again, D-A-B-C-C. D-A-B-C. Can you say it again, D-A-B-C-C? D-A-B-B-C. How about D-A-B-C-C? D-A-B-B-C. D-A-B-C-C. 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 D-A-B-C-C.